Kung Fan was once a successful farmer with land in Vietnam's fertile Mekong Delta. Today, Fan lives on a small allowance from his children. And his farm? It's out there, underwater, a kilometer or so off the coast of this beach. We grew watermelon, peanuts and sweet potatoes. Then we couldn't do it anymore, because the seawater began flooding our land. We built a sea dike, but it was damaged each year, and eventually we had to leave. Thousands of coastal farmers have already lost their land and incomes, but now sea level rise is threatening even more farmers upstream. During the dry season, salty seawater easily flows inland, contaminating freshwater irrigation canals and threatening Vietnam's most important export, rice. Climate change has had a severe impact on the economy of the province and on rice production in particular. Saline water now comes every year to the inland areas, which results in reduced production. 60 kilometers upstream, farmer Bin Tak would never have imagined seawater entering his irrigation canal, but today it's killing his crop. This season, he expects his harvest will be half of what it once was. I went to the canal and tasted the water as I did just now, and then pumped it into my field. But the rice is not growing well, it's dying. So I cannot pump water into the field anymore because I don't know how salty it is. Farmers say they are in desperate need of information and ideas that will help them adapt to climate change. And for the first time, they might get the help they're looking for. Over the next six years, the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, in cooperation with the Vietnamese government, will invest 50 million US dollars in activities like monitoring and forecasting salinity, improving irrigation canals and dikes, and helping farmers find income alternatives that might include growing something other than rice. If it's too difficult to produce rice, then we need alternatives, and we need to encourage farmers to shift to other farming systems, such as aquaculture. Here in this lab at Traven University, researchers are looking for fish species that are more tolerant to salt water and could provide a good income for farmers. But time is running short. Warm weather brings on more pests and crop diseases. And when temperatures exceed 36 degrees Celsius, the rice pollen itself becomes sterile threatening an even larger collapse. In the meantime, rice farmers here gather with local officials and project staff to begin discussing their adaptation strategies. For farmers like Bin Tak, the goal is simple, to stay one step ahead of climate change.